Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a short topic that is difference between apart and the Crozen syndrome. So both have a common feature that is brachiocephaly. The child will present with brachiocephaly in both apart and the Crozen syndrome. They have few differences. So we will see that. So this question can be asked as a separate FIMA question uh, or they can be asked even in your uh, this one practical viva sessions also okay first in Crozen syndrome the child will not have mental retardation the child will not have any palatal abnormalities plus the child will not have syndactyly while the child have will have a prominent feature of proptosis this proptosis will also can be present in upper syndrome but it is a most specific feature of crozon syndrome then the child can present with or without hydrocephalus so the features are brachycephaly with proptosis and with no palatal abnormalities and no mental retardation okay why in upper syndrome this is Crozen syndrome while in upper syndrome the child will present with mental retardation will have palatal abnormalities so the child will have palatal abnormalities such as high arched palate okay plus the child will present with syndactyly the child will have bilateral syndactyly That is, this connected fingers are called as syndactyly or called as mitten hand. Next, the child can present with or without proptosis and they are prone for hydrocephalus. They will not be present with the hydrocephalus. They were prone for hydrocephalus. Okay. So, these are the main differences between upward and Crozen syndrome. So, I will tell you they are triad. So, triad of this upward syndrome is this craniostenostosis so i'll take a separate topic on this craniostenostosis uh, separately in a separate video next they'll have mid face hypoplasia and bilateral syndactyly okay this is the triad of upper while the triad of Crozon syndrome is again craniostenostosis that is brachycephaly both will have brachycephaly facial abnormalities and the specific feature for this is proptosis so this is the triad of uh, Crozen syndrome so what is the mutation involved in upper and Crozen the mutation involved here is FGFR gene 2 ok next in uh, while in this Crozen syndrome is again it is FGFR 2 and 3 so mutation involved is in uh, this fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 and fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 and 3 in Crozen syndrome so this is the main uh, this characteristic differences I have not gone into a detailed topic of this book so the main clinching points you have to remember while you are writing in your theory exam and also in your practical viva session this will do okay thank you